Hi equestrian friends, it's me Lisa the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you something fun and I've done it before but we're going to make some stall signs using scrap wood and paper that I just had laying around my house. So to get started I found a piece of wood, I had my trusty tape measure and a pen and I measured off how long I wanted the stall signs to be. For these they are 14 inches long so that's what I marked off. 14 inches for the first one and then another 14 inches which equals 28 inches so I could cut out both at the same time. And then I cut out the wood and that's a horrible angle. I should have changed the angle so you guys could see the wood cuts actually being made. There you can see it being made. And after I cut out the wood, then I wanted to go ahead and pre-drill the holes because this will make it easier when I'm doing sanding, which will be the next step. I didn't measure anything off. I just drilled two holes with a quarter inch drill bit, one hole on each side of the stall sign. And next came the sanding and you can see that I have gloves on. Gloves are really important. Actually I should have been wearing these gloves while I was cutting the wood out too. Safety first. But sanding the wood will give it a nice smooth finish and get rid of any of the splinters. So I used 120 grit sandpaper just to make sure I could get this board as smooth as possible. And then I found this paint. This is foil paint and it's by Krylon and look how shiny it is. I was really hopeful that it would be this shiny on the stall sign. So I painted each of the signs with a coat of the Krylon paint and I actually ended up doing about four coats of paint. After each coat would dry then I would add another layer of paint. So four layers of paint is what it took to get these to be pretty shiny. Now it's not quite as shiny as it is on the lid of the spray paint, but it still looks pretty. So I was okay with that, but I really wish it would have been that foil finish. So this is how they ended up after four coats of paint. Not horrible, but you can see there's some imperfections that was in the wood. And then I used my Cricut machine and some paper that I had. This is like cardstock paper. And I just cut out the letters for Frisbee and Ethan stall signs. The letter size that I used was two and a half inches. And the Cricut cartridge is the everyday fonts. And I believe F5 was what I used to get this font. So there's Frisbee's name. And there's Ethan's. So after I had the letters all cut out, then I just had to attach them to the piece of wood. And I just used Mod Podge because that's what I had. And I just painted on the Mod Podge on the back of the letters and put them in place on the wood.
Now they look a little bit shiny. And after I had the names attached, then it was time to put a sealer coat on. And this is called Double Thick. It's by DecoArt and it's a high gloss sealer that gives a really nice shine to whatever it is you're putting it on. And I found the trick is by using a bigger brush that created less brush strokes when I was painting on the sealer. And here are the stall signs all done. Yeah, they're not exactly perfect, but you know what? For being able to make this in an afternoon, I really wasn't going for perfect. I just wanted some new stall signs for my horses and I'm really happy with how they turned out. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots of other DIY horse videos. Again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.